Zimbabwe's government has put on hold a decision to legalize the growing of cannabis. Authorities say the need to carry out, uh, there is a need to carry out feasibility studies. Now the U-turn comes just less than a month after the government gazetted license fees for the farming of cannabis for medicinal purposes. CGTN's Farai Makutuya is following the story. After receiving more than 350 applications, government has put on hold licensing of prospective marijuana farmers, saying it needs to undertake more feasibility studies. Last month, the government prescribed a 50,000 US dollar application fee to grow and process the plant for medicinal purposes. Despite polarizing public opinion, government proceeded with the plans to create this potentially money-spinning industry. Its decision to halt licensing pending more information has been welcomed here. Suspension does not mean that they have changed their mind. No. I think they suspend, suspended the program because they want to make sure that it is no loopholes. Farming marijuana may help the country financially, but it's just not right for us to allow it. Maybe we should put it out to a referendum. If more people vote yes, then we can allow it. If not, then we can stop it. Zimbabwe's deputy finance minister says if the plans are to resume, farming will be done on state-owned farms and under very tight controls. Farang Makutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.